guys and welcome to another RunGB World Thunder uh, video. This time we are going to be taking a look at how to maneuver your plane in historical battles. This is also applicable to arcade but in historical battles is a must. In historical battles instructor is really restricted in its ability to command your plane and uh, as such it actually answers very very sloppy, uh, sloppy to your input commands. Um, you know, and if you don't know, well, I'm telling you now that to fly in historical battles, I actually use mouse and keyboard, both of, both of them. <coughs> Sorry. Um, the reason why I use keyboard so much is to mm, exactly guide the plane uh, through the maneuvers I want it to do. Because with mouse, all you have you can do is to select a given heading or position to aim your nose at and the instructor will do the job for you and will do so maybe in a way you don't want him to also instructor being uh, more limited in historical battles means that its um, ability to control the plane is um, pretty reduced at times and as such you end up having a very bouncy plane wobbling around and doing stuff very very weird so let's start by seeing how the plane handles with just with mouse. I'm going to try to turn opposite. We are flying towards uh, the east. I'm going to turn towards the west. All right. All right. It has done so pretty pretty well. No big deal. But now let's see what happens when I try to make a roll. A loop. Sorry. Um, doesn't look really like a loop, doesn't it? Not at all. It actually has done a high yo-yo. Now let's try to do exactly the opposite. Let's to try to uh, do a speed test. This is mm, not really a speed test. It actually started nosing down and then like skidding its way down until it actually got the proper attitude. Now let's try to do a barrel roll. Very sloppy. Very wonsy. The instructor doesn't know exactly what to do. No idea, he has no clue. He's just training to aim the plane to the point you are aiming at. But maybe you don't want to do it that way. Who knows? Let's imagine we have a Spitfire moving from the right to the left, from the top to the bottom. So going from up there to down there. Okay? And let's try. Uh, what I would do was, uh, would be to roll the plane uh, to match his plane of movement and then shoot. So let's try to follow his imag imaginary movement. Mm, no, doesn't look really like doing it. Does it? adding to the wobbling and bouncing etc. The thing is that with mouse controls you are very very limited to in the range of motion you have and in the control you have over your plane. The play you are actually telling your instructor where to go and the instructor is doing so. You are not actually flying your plane. Now let's introduce keyboard. Let me win some speed and let's do a proper loop. Okay? How to do a loop? Uh, not exactly the top G's. There are two ways to do a loop. Uh, an actual one. First of all is to press your elevator down key, like this. And you have a perfect, 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 soft, steady looping. Alright. Very well. This is one of the ways, but there's a problem and that's that when you do this with a keyboard you are pulling as many G's as your plane can take and as such you may be wasting some energy. So let's do a loop with combinated mouse and keyboard. I start going up with mouse and when I reach the top now I'm using keyboard, I correct and go down. This is all with keyboard. The initial stage you can do with mouse, but the rest you have to do with keyboard. Alright, so we did it. 
why is it? Why is this? Why does this happen? Well, when you start pointing your nose up and the instructor is following you up to the vertical, it actually follows your commands. But the problem is that after the vertical, you get a change of camera and the instructor gets, gets lost. So it's impossible to pull a loop only with mouse. You have to use keyboard. Now, if I want to do a spill test, all I have to do is to roll my plane upside down and do so with keyboard. This is all with keyboard. I'm not using mouse at all, as you can see. Remember, each time you are pressing a key in your in your plane, uh, for instance, if you are rolling, or if you are skidding, or yowing, or if you are uh, pitching up or down, each time you press a command key for your plane, the instructor actu automatically stop, uh, stops uh, flying your plane. You are in direct control. So let's say, for instance, that I want to do a barrel roll. This all with keyboards. As you can see, it's all commanded by keyboard. It's not a very fine p um, control. You can't really um, find control and fine tune the maneuvers you do because you don't have enough control. Um, keyboard is a digital command. It's a zero or one. It's a no or full. It's full uh, um, control or not control at all. It's not analogic like a joystick. With a joystick, you can really put your plane through the, your paces and um, just make it behave exactly as you want. With keyboard, the control is still limited, but it's much more um, effective and it's direct, of course, than with mouse. Now, let's try to do what I told you. Let's say a speedfire is moving from up to down right. What I would do was, as it's moving from up then I would roll down and keep track on his plane of movements. And if he changes it, roll out and track him. It's really easy to command exactly the way you want your plane. Now let's do a vertical reversal, a hammerhead. To do a hammerhead, what you have to do is to put your plane up in a totally vertical position. This is with mouse, by the way. Now I'm totally vertical. Let's check it. Perfectly. So all I have to do is to wait until I hit 120, press rudder, correct with ailerons, keep on pressing rudder, keep on pressing rudder, keep on pressing rudder, and the plane pitches down. Now I'm really set, and now I'm in mouse again, and I can aim. Pretty easy. It's not really, really, really that hard. How to do a wing over? Now, how to do a wing over? You start moving up in an inclined uh, climb instead of vertical, and uh, keep on going until you hit 1, 120 kilometers per hour, more or less. Then you will roll vertical and use rudder to bring your nose down. Very similar to the hammerhead, but with an inclined starting position. So we are hitting that speed. Roll vertical, use rudder, correct a little bit with the arrows, and the plane will go down. Very easy. Let's say I want to... a plane is attacking me from back there. It's coming very quick, so what I do is to break into him, keep him on track, and when he's started to come for me, roll opposite, move the other way. And maybe I want to engage in a barrel roll. So, with keyboard, you actually can maneuver your plane while looking elsewhere. Because when you press, there are several ways to liberate your, mm, your views. The first way is to press C. By default, it's free camera. You press C and your mouse suddenly gets into control. Alright? Pretty easy to see. But while you are pressing your keys, for instance, let's do a break uh, turn towards the right, and I'm using only keyboard, okay? There you go. And now I can 
move my view wherever I want, the plane will keep on the movement I want. This also works when you use a track camera. Track camera is selecting an enemy icon, an uh, enemy plane or ground vehicle, and press right mouse by default. You can remap all of the all of this stuff, of course. The problem here is that uh, when you are using track command, the plane remembers the last heading it was. See, I started moving with keyboard, but as soon as I release it, the plane returns to its previous uh, movement motion. How to avoid it? Well, I look at the enemy, I move towards him, I release, and I click again. And then my plane keeps on that position. Let's do it again so you can see it uh, easily. I'm going to turn towards the east. You can see the heading is pointing to the east. And I start moving. This is keyboard. And as I soon as I release the keyboard, the plane turns again. Instructor turns me towards the east. How to avoid it? Well, you can see I'm pointing there. I start maneuvering with keyboard. Keyboard, keyboard, this is all with keyboard. And as soon as I release keyboard, I'll release tracking as well and reacquire the target. And this is very useful because if you are under attack, you can keep track on where the enemy is and maneuver relative to him. Actually, this requires a little bit of practice because you have to keep track at, at all times or your plane actual uh, heading. And once you are out of problems, you release and you maneuver the, one you, the way you want. One of the limitations of keyboard control is when you are at very low altitude. We are going to see this um, <coughs> as I'm trying to take off. Uh, when you are at very low altitudes, instructor won't let you command your plane. It will have mouse command only. Look at me taking off and I'm at this moment I'm, press I'm pressing left and see it only answers over a given altitude and under it it won't let me control it. So be very very careful at very low altitudes because the range of movements is very limited because instructor will try to take control even while you are pressing key commands. At any other altitudes, keyboard is your command and your guidance of the plane. Let's say that we have an enemy plane and we are trying to track him. And let's say it's moving in a given angle. You have to use mouse, but the plane is, you can see that the pointer is pointing the way it actually wants. It's going up, down, widely, doesn't actually aim at a given point. If instead you turn with um, keyboard, you can go in the way you want and do the correction in elevation you want with roll, which I'm doing right now. So you can much better fine tune the way your plane handles to mm, track enemies for tracking shots. It's also pretty effective um, at the moment of just um, setting your attacks because as you can see if I roll my plane upside down instructor will just put it up. Again I'm going to try to roll upside down instructor pulls it up. I really see here I release here, so there's no way to actually fly upside down if you, you don't use keys. But if I do this with keyboard, upside down, and keep on correcting so it doesn't... I mean, it's very unstable and it's a pain in the ass, but you can actually fly your plane upside down, and that's very useful while you are setting atta an attack on a lower bandit. Maybe it's down there, and you want to get ready for the attack, so while you track him, you roll upside down, Keep on him, keep on him, and go down at the moment where it's actually wise to go in. And that's, I would call, advanced controls, but actually it's very easy to pull. The only thing that you might have problems with is actually having a good relative um, situation in your mind of where your plane is actually pointing up while you're maneuvering. Because if you look track of that, for instance, I'm maneuvering with a guy behind, and I lose track where my nose is pointing, maybe I'll do a wrong move. For instance, let's say I'm at very low altitude, 
and I'm avoiding the attack of an enemy, which is coming, uh, I don't know, back, and I'm starting like moving, moving, moving. I go very low and I have to correct and press left, which is easy to see because right now I have my nose and my camera pointing up. But if I'm pointing down, see, I have to remember which is left and which is right. Because in the direction I'm looking is not anymore, so you have to keep a, uh, keep a constant attention of your plane actual attitude and um, the commands required to fly it the way you want. But this is just practice. This just takes um, a little bit of um, repeating and fighting an error. Even myself, now and then, I commit this mistake. I'm pointing my nose up because I'm trying to. Um, I mean, I point the camera back while I'm avoiding. I start avoiding very, very, very hastily, and now I should roll one right, uh, one side, and I roll the opposite, and boom. Because I lost track of my actual movement. But but that happens, and to avoid it happening, you need practice. And that's all. That's all you need: practicing a little bit and using your keyboard. Because without keyboard, historical battles. It's almost impossible to fly successfully, believe me. And of course, you have to strike a good balance between uh, keyboard and mouse. Mouse is very useful to uh, do very low G corrections and um, to fine tune your um, actual attitude. But for, and, and of course, to win shots and to aim the plane, because with keyboard, you can't really aim your plane uh, at a steady point. But, uh, the thing is maneuvering with your keyboard, aiming with your mouse. And that's more or less it. And also handling the views. That's all about that uh, also. So yeah, that's all for now. That's all for this video. I hope you find this useful. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, thank you very much for watching, guys. And see you later.